Hi and good morning. Um, so here is my first attempt of a YouTube video. It's my New Year's resolution to start making some YouTube videos this year in relation to my crafting hobbies. And I've decided that since at the moment I still don't have any proper setup of my camera and so on, so I apologize in advance for all the shakiness, but uh, I'm kind of holding the camera in my hand at the moment. So because of that I can't do any card tutorials as such yet. Um, so until I, re I, I figure out what I want to do with the camera and how I set it all up and how it's going to work for me, I've decided that maybe I'll just start with a little haul video and I'll just show a few goodies that I've recently received. I've actually made a few orders re recently but unfortunately I'm still waiting for some of them and um, because I wanted to start using some of the goodies that I already got I thought that I will just start and make the video just in relation to the one uh, particular shop that I got my goodies from. So the shop I'm talking about is Cards and Scraps. For those of you who are residents of Ireland you'll be probably quite familiar with the shop as it's one of the probably best quickest ones and uh, most customer friendly ones in relation to what we have in Ireland and I just wanted to show you a few goods and bits and pieces that I got from them so mostly it was unfortunately a shopping that I called a necessity shopping so um, um, basically a few goodies that I just had to replenish in my stash but I got a few goodies as well so I'll show you that as well so I'm very sorry that you had to be looking at my mat for so long I'll stop rambling now and I'll just show you what I got so the first thing I got is I had to um, get a new, uh, what are they called, the uh, cutting channels or the cutting channels mats for my woodward trimmer. So over there, apologies for that big mess but this is how I work, over there you can see my trimmer. So I ha I've had this woodward trimmer since I basically started crafting around two and a half years ago or maybe three years ago by now. And yeah, it was high time to replace the cutting channel mat because, as you can see it here, it was already in a really bad state. So I got these ordered and they arrived. It's a pack of two. One of them is already in the trimmer. I actually haven't used it since. So I'm looking forward to using my new brand, brand new uh, channel mat. And here is another one that I'm going to have. The good thing about those channel mats is that you can use them actually four times. So you can kind of twist them and turn them around and you can use them more than in one particular spot. So hopefully it's going to last me about another two years or so. We shall see. Since I was already at the woodwork section, let's call it, I also got myself one of the straight blades for my trimmer. Because I thought that if I'm getting a new um, cutting channel, I might as well get a new proper uh, sharp blade. So the next thing in my um, kind of replenishing of my stash um, group was the mounting foam and this is by Kaiser. Um, I haven't used these before, they were actually, uh, Cards and Scraps actually uh, got them for me because I asked for a bit of bigger foam squares. So these are the ones that they came up with. Uh, they're round, they're not square as they would usually be, at least the ones that I usually use. Uh, so I'll have a look, I'll use these and I'll keep you posted on on what they're like. They weren't very, very cheap. I think they were around €4.50 Euro or so for this package. I think there is around uh, 200 of them coming in the in the, in the the package. There's like four sheets there. Um, so yeah, I'll give them a go and I'll definitely keep you posted on how they're going. Um, sometimes just the small foam squares are way, way, way too small. So I wanted something bigger. So we'll see what these are like. I also got a foam tape, uh, that's for no specific reason, I just use it every now and then as well if I need really big areas to be popped up a little bit on my cards, so I thought that would be useful, it was on sale, so I got this also, and then I got, well, uh, mixed feelings about that double sided tape, because initially I hated it and now I love it, I think it's called Finger Guard, and the way it works is that basically it has a sticky bit in the middle and then it has two little thin strips you can probably see them around there of paper around that sticky bit so basically when you put the first when you put your uh, tape on the cardstock or whatever you're trying to glue down it's actually much easier 
um, to peel off that little masking paper because it's actually beyond that sticky bit. I, I hope that makes any sense. But yeah, I didn't like it at the beginning because it was, diffi it was difficult for me. I like to put my tape kind of very, very close to the edge and it was very difficult to judge it at the beginning for me because obviously where the paper is isn't where the glue starts. So I couldn't really figure it out properly. But since, uh, since then I got used to it and I really, really love it. It's very strong, it's very nice and durable. And it lasts for long, so uh, I really love it. So that's the thicker one that is on uh, market. There is as well a thinner version, but I just needed the thicker one because that's the one I mostly use. And then I decided to reward myself a little bit and get some nice goodies. So the first thing I got was this. Oh, you can see me over there. Hello. Um, the first thing I got is this cuddle book uh, embossing folder, and it is called Heart Locks. And I thought that uh, since we're going coming close to uh, Valentine's Day, it might be a nice uh, embossing folder to have. I mean, it wasn't very expensive, I don't remember now, but it was probably something around um, 4 euro or so. So, um, I mean, hearts is something you can always use, not only for Valentine's Day. So I thought it would be nice to have a nice embossing folder since I don't have too many of them yet. And because I wanted to have even more of them, I decided to give this a go as well, because this was on sale. And this is the Tim Holtz Alterations um, series. There are two embossing folders in that set. One is called the Bubble Wrapping, and the other one is called the Honeycomb. And I thought they were just really nice and a bit different and not necessarily as perfect as I would usually use them so because you can see the the bubble wrapping one is obviously kind of distressed so I thought that would be really nice to try out and again just to have a few extra and new folders to play with and you know if you need extra to create on the projects. Then I found out this, found out about this on the website so that's again a Woodworth product and that's the uh, thing it's called a Mr. and Mrs huge stamp or big stamp or something like that. I don't know, I just saw it and I really loved it and I thought, you know what, I really need to have it. Don't ask me why, <laughs> just felt the need to have it. I think if I remember correctly that wasn't very, very expensive either so I just decided, you know, what the hell, I'll just get it. It, it was a bit of an impulse purchase but um, yeah, we all do them, don't we? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> And then finally, yeah, well, the great thing about cards and scraps is that when you're buying your stuff, you can actually ask them to, you know, you can put additional comments in, in case you want something else or in case you want to give them any additional information. And I wanted to get two more things from the shop, but they were out of stock. So I just put a comment in my shopping box saying, you know, if you get those items back in stock, can you please add them to my order? And hey, they arrived actually and they were av available, so I'm very happy that I put that comment in there. So the first thing is stickles, it's the favourite one of mine, it's the Stardust stickles. So it's kind of lovely for snow effect, but it's lovely kind of crystally bluish silverish shimmer. I really, really love the stickles. Uh, and especially this particular one. I use a lot of stickles, but this is the one that I probably come back to most often, so I just wanted to uh, get a new one because over Christmas I ran out of it. And the second thing I got is, again, thinking a bit more uh, about Valentine's, but as well then for all other projects, it's this Decocarn uh, red cotton cord. So it's kind of like Baker's Twine. It's a bit more red probably than white, like in Bacon Swine, you would, Baker Swine you would probably have a bit more white. But it's a beautiful vibrant red colour, you can definitely see it over there. It's lovely, lovely looking cord, there's loads of it as well. And I just thought I really wanted to have one. I never really used it, I use mostly ribbon in my projects, but I wanted to start using a bit of Baker Swine or something similar, and when I saw this particular thread, or cord, I thought it was absolutely perfect for um, what I was looking for. So I got that as well. The whole order wasn't really that expensive, although probably wasn't the cheapest either in some standards. I think it was something over 40 euro. Um, but yeah, because I couldn't wait to start playing uh, with all my goodies, I really have to make that video now because I just decided, you know what, I can't wait for the other goodies to come and just to do a haul all together for all of them. So here you go, have it. These are all my goodies. There's the stickles and the channel and the blade. So 
yeah, definitely Cards and Scraps is one of my very favourite shops to buy from. As I said, great customer service, fantastic, super quick delivery. As you can see, well, I already have those goodies for a week at home, and I still haven't received the other ones. Now, in fairness, the other ones are coming from abroad, one of them from the States and the other one from Europe, from Poland, actually. But um, still, I guess it just proves that, you know, it's good to buy local many times because we just get the goodies very quickly. Prices are not the worst especially for Ireland and they've got very good rates as well for shipping and everything and I really really love um, shopping at Cards and Scraps and, uh, and getting my goodies from them so I decided to devote my very first video to a haul and it's a haul from my very first shop so I hope Cards and Scraps are going to be happy about it and hopefully I'm going to figure out my settings of the camera soon and I'm going to be able to do some proper um, card tutorials and showing you how I make cards and so on but yeah we have to start from something and because I promised myself I'll make um, videos this year then here I am video number one thank you very much and if you enjoyed it let me know uh, let me know what you would like to see on the channel if there are any particular tutorials you're looking for I'm always happy to to um, try new things so I don't mind um, if you like it, give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you all soon again. Bye-bye!